The brain is a computer that runs the body. The spinal cord is the main electrical cable that connects that brain, that computer, to the rest of the body. Similarly, it carries electrical signals from the different parts of the body back to the brain to interpret. Trying to treat a patient who had a spinal cord injury, the signals that are generated from the brain that we typically send to the muscles and the legs and the arms are not able to get through the area of injury. So that function is completely lost in a patient with paraplegia or quadriplegia, for example. The Intelligent Spine Interface, or ISI, is the fusion between neurotechnology and spinal cord neuroscience. It's a spinal cord machine interface that we're developing to allow us to help patients with spinal cord injury. The hope is that it enables them to walk and to use different body functions again. In the spinal cord that's injured, there's a break in the spinal cord. We're attempting to bridge the gap of injury. How this intelligence spine interface works is to be sensing the signals that are coming up, say, from your toe, up to the electrode array that is sitting below the injury. To take those signals out of the body that's going to a computer where it's being interpreted, outputs of that get sent back into the spinal cord to the other electrode array, and those signals then propagate up to the person's brain. What we're going to do in this current study is run machine learning methodologies to interpret how these signals relate to important activities of daily living for each participant. It's a much more computational understanding of the brain. What's really going on with those neural networks? Can we create a better understanding of what it is that we're dealing with other than this is injured tissue? Our team consists of engineers, neuroscientists, neurosurgeons, rehabilitation specialists, and physical therapists, machine learning specialists in the computer vision space. We work with Carney Institute at Brown University. The School of Engineering at Brown University. It includes corporate partners, Intel Corporation, Microleads Medical, and Modular Bionics. This project was originally supported by the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, as well as the Veterans Administration. The hope is that this will translate into a widespread clinical tool that clinicians can give to patients. We have the facilities, we have the depth of science, we have the world's experts here, and we are very excited that this project has the potential to take our research to the next level. Rhode Island Hospital, Brown University, and the Norman Prince Neuroscience Institute have come together developing the Center for Innovation in Neurotechnology for Neuro Repair, or CENTER, which is a one-of-a-kind space in the country that we are utilizing for the ISI project, as well as potentially future projects. The center space consists of a large physical therapy gym, as well as multiple pieces of machinery and computers. We have a state-of-the-art camera system that we utilize for assessing patient motion in various applications, as well as what's called a zero-G harness system that enables patients with spinal cord injury to ambulate and physical therapists to be able to work with them. The Center for Innovative Neurotechnology and Neuro Repair really is setting the foundation for many other programs that we can envision down the line. All of the other clinicians in the hospital network can think about how the research that they're doing can utilize this advanced space. The research for me really is an essential part of being a neurosurgeon. You do it for the future, for the betterness of future patients. We will solve this. We will find a solution. We will find the key our technology has uh, enormous capacity to have a transformational impact. Our objective is very clear to serve the patient with neurological disorders, to offer them the most advanced, compassionate, cutting-edge care, and to be the leading institution when it comes to neurosciences, specifically to neurosurgery. And I firmly believe that we are on our way to be that entity in the United States.